Welcome back. I want to introduce you to my friend Jenny Carley. She is with the University of Michigan. She's a liaison with the American Cancer Society for what we're calling a CPS3 exam. Now, a lot of people say, oh, wait a minute, is it a school exam? Is it a test? What's going on? We'll talk about that in a second, but I also wanted to talk about the Making Strides 5K walks that occurred over the weekend. Big turnout, huh? Amazing turnout. Amazing. Over $400,000 raised yeah. just through Genesee and Saginaw counties, all going directly to the American Cancer Society. Yep, it was a great turnout for Making Strides, and we had, even with the weather, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes when it gets colder outside, <laughs> a lot of people don't like to come out yeah. and do the walk, and there were a lot of people out there um, supporting breast cancer yep. and everything to do with the cancer. Myself, we had some NBC 25 associates out there as well, and we didn't, we didn't let the rain or snow stop us because it was snowing <laughs> a little bit when we were out there. But we got out there, 3,600 I think was the total in Genesee County. We had uh, 2,500 in Saginaw County, so that's good stuff. That's awesome. And if you were out there, you may have see, seen the tent that said CPS3 study, and maybe you weren't out there, but you've heard about it. Let's talk about this. I've actually participated in it myself because if I were to develop cancer, this could save my life in the future, correct? This is true. So um, this cancer is a once in a lifetime study. Mm -hmm. It's uh, titled CPS3. It's the third cancer prevention study that the American Cancer Society has put on. Okay. So the reason that uh, you saw the tent out at the Making Strides walk is because we only have about a month left to try and make our numbers to make this study a um, very valuable and noteworthy study. And you're on 300,000 Americans, right? 300,000 Americans. Um, so this is a nationwide study. Okay. So you'll be, um, if you do participate in the study, you'll be able to participate in have your statistics in nationwide. Mm -hmm. uh, privacy is very important for American Cancer Society, right. so if you do sign up, everything is going to be protected. Um, it mainly, the main thing that's going to be linked to your name is a number that'll be associated with it. Okay, so they take a little bit of blood work, you give them some of your history, and then again, if I were to develop cancer, the, the information that I provide today and over the next several years could potentially save my life. How can people sign up for this? We've got a couple of ways. There are two more events, and that's it, right? Yep, so there are two events. One is on Tuesday at the GM After Care Center, and then one is on Wednesday at U of M Plant at the Recreation Center. And so I'm serving as the liaison for the U of M Plant campus, okay. so I'm helping set up any appointments. There is a website that people need to go to in order mm -hmm. to sign up. They can make the appointment. The appointment's only going to take 15 to 20 minutes, okay. and then they'll be right out the door. What's that website? Um, the website is through the American Cancer Society, and it's Flint CPS3. All right. Com. There you go. Well, good stuff. And real quick, I'll get out of here and send it over to Joel in a second. But some of these previous exams have proven that ad aspirin can help prevent colon cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, smoking was linked to cancer. That was that was found from these prevention tests as well. So yep. heads up, this could save your life. And again, more information, you can head over to their website.